I started writing tribute to you back in 2013. The ideas had culminated from a 10-year project of trying to grieve and uh, release that grief over my father's death. Um, I needed a talent piece for the Miss America preliminary here in Colorado at that time. Uh, just a little background, my father died when I was eight. Um, he was murdered. I recall at that time not being able to fully express my sadness and my grief about his departure. Um, and I think that probably was because of the nature of his death. Um, I mean, when I finally did write and express about it through a mini newspaper that I had with my friends in that neighborhood at the time, uh, my grandmother found the content too inappropriate to share and I went into the kitchen that day and seen it torn up in the trash can. She never said anything about that, but what that message sent for me was that um, my grief was not to be publicized. Um, but what it also did was that it also silenced me, so I buried it and I never discussed it again. Um, there's, there's a lot of things that I'm an open book about. Um, I'm definitely not one to hold anything back. There's no bars hold when it comes to me, and I don't like censoring myself. I figure I tell it as is. Um, but that particular piece and aspect of my life, I was not willing to share. I mean, again, there's so many things I'm willing to have on blast as far as my personal life, but that was not one of them. Um, I mean, it didn't bother me again until about years later when I was at my debutante ball, and I saw the other girls, daddy, daughter, and you know, at the dance, and even though I had my uncle there, who's been a supportive male in my life since my dad's departure, um, I think it was at that time that I really started to let the grief resurface, but it would take several more years before I actually worked through it, um, and this manifested in the way that I approached my romantic relationships. Um, a lot of guys embodied either good or bad qualities about my father, and mostly the bad ones, but <laughs> we will get to that. Um, I completed Tribute to You in June of 2013, and I placed in the top 10 in Miss Colorado that year. Uh, first time I had ever competed. It was, it was immaculate. I couldn't believe the overwhelming response I got from people about what the spoken word piece did for them. Um, and I would continue to perform that at several other stages. Um, I did it at the International Junior Miss pageant and placed in top five for talent. Um, Miss Black Colorado back in 2015 and for the Serenity Project um, I mean I was just really overwhelmed by everyone's response to it uh, I guess I didn't figure I had the talent or ability to reach such an audience and because it made such an impact uh, in these kind of organizations I decided I was finally comfortable enough to share it with the world uh, along with my writing which you will see in the many videos to come so this is sort of my introductory point into what I want to do with my writings, with my spoken word, with um, embracing the healing qualities that my ancestors have blessed upon me, and to hopefully share this with the world.